Good, uh, good morning. Uh, Mike Condon's my name. I'm the Assistant Commissioner of State Farm Operations Command. With me to my left is uh, Acting National Manager of Target Development Intervention, uh, Kerry Stemp from the ACC, and uh, Acting Detective Superintendent uh, Gary Watts from the Organised Crime Group of the State Crime Operations Command. Uh, with that, I'll uh, hand you over to uh, Mr. Watts. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming this morning. The initial um, media uh, interview that we'll do today will relate to Operation Hotel Enzyme. So, if we can be specific about Hotel Enzyme initially, and we're certainly uh, open to other questions in relation to other matters at the end of the Hotel Enzyme interview. In July 2009, the Queensland Police Service commenced Operation Hotel Enzyme. In January of 2010, the Queensland Police Service, with the Australian Crime Protection Commission, conducted a joint investigation in relation to high level drug manufacturing net a high level drug manufacturing network operating within the southeastern region. Working together with our partner agency, the ACC, we were able to gather sufficient evidence, which culminated in a number of search warrants search warrants being executed on Monday afternoon. As a result of those search warrants, four people have been arrested and are currently before the courts. Located during one of the search warrants was a large clandestine illicit drug laboratory, which we can describe as one of the largest in Australia. The potential drug manufacturing capabilities of this clandestine drug laboratory indicated that there were sufficient chemicals to manufacture 70 kilograms of methamphetamine with a street value in excess of $30 million and a similar amount of MDMA. As I said, working together with our partner agency, using a variety of investigative strategies, we were able to infiltrate a major drug trafficking network, which has resulted in people currently before the courts being charged with serious drug trafficking offences. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry. Just Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Just by way of the Australian Crime Commission's involvement in this investigation, the Australian Crime Commission became involved in January of 2010 with the Queensland Police Service in relation to the investigation of a large scale and highly resilient drug trafficking network. This network had significant links to a number of associates based not only in Queensland but also interstate. As a result of the investigations, a number of specialist resources were employed by both the Queensland Police Service as we continue to work in partnership. Through developing the intelligence and investigative capabilities against this syndicate, on Monday evening we saw the resolution phase of the operation. This resulted in the location of one of the largest ever clandestine laboratories located in Australia. As has been previously referred to, that clandestine laboratory had the potential to produce up to 70 kilos of methamphetamine and a similar amount of, methyl, uh, of MDMA, also known as ecstasy. These are significant quantities of drugs with an estimated street value of in excess of $30 million. The investigations that we've conducted to date have resulted in a significant disruption to this network. Furthermore, we have a lot of work to do. Ongoing investigations continue, and as early as this morning, further clandestine laboratory equipment have been located at another address in the Gold Coast hinterland. These investigations continue and through the collaboration between the Australian Crime Commission and the Queensland Police Service, we continue these, we develop the intelligence and we'll start to undertake some learnings in relation to these to feed back into law enforcement and our partners in both the state, the federal and the national environments. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. What can you tell us about the raid? Was it, uh, did it all go to plan? Was it very violent? Were the tasers deployed? Uh, the, uh a series of uh, search warrants we executed on Monday uh, Monday evening were uh, well planned. They went uh, according to our plan, and uh, we were successfully able to contain the scene and apprehend uh, several offenders. The main one at Corumban Valley, um, were there shots fired or anything along those lines? In relation to the specifics of the search warrants, I'm not going to comment. And where were the search warrants? Where were the other places? Uh, the majority of the uh, premises searched were in the Corumban Valley and uh, southern part of the Gold Coast. Were you surprised at the size of the operation? We, uh, we identified very early, um, both QPS and the ACC, that we were looking at a significant drug trafficking network. However, upon execution of the search warrants, we located what we would describe as a very sophisticated clandestine laboratory 
and um, the level of um, resources and the amount of chemicals is significant in relation to that. Were you alleged the drugs were being sold here in South East Queensland or were they going all over the country? Look, it's uh, in relation to the investigation that we've undertaken, we've identified significant links both within Queensland and interstate. We continue to progress those investigations and clearly there's a lot of work to be done. Does the drug network have any link to bikies or gangs? There are loose associations with outlaw motorcycle gangs and other criminal organisations within the Gold Coast and Australia in relation to this drug trafficking network. Which, which gangs? Um, they have links to a number of RMCG areas within the Gold Coast. Gary, where was the, the, the big the mother line? Where was this big um, cookhouse? The focus of our, of our uh, search warrants were in the Carmen Valley. But a, a specific property had the big lab? Uh, there were uh, two premises which had significant chemicals, but one was uh, where the clandestine laboratory was uh, was located. Yes. Was it an underground bunker or was it sort of hidden walls or floors? Without going into the specifics too much, um, it was uh, well concealed. Uh, it was only through um, very hard working and the ded dedicated detectives, not only from the QPS but from the ACC, that were able to identify the area, identify the network and infiltrate every area of operation. Any idea how long it had been in operation for? We, uh, we have been monitoring this drug trafficking network for nearly two years um, and we were focusing our operation on them for that period of time. Is there, can you say anything about how you monitored them? Did you go undercover or anything like that? I, I don't know want to get into the specifics of the operational side of the uh, investigation. Do you think you've got the highest in the chain of order or do you think there's somebody above that? We have made significant inroads in relation to this drug trafficking syndicate and we have, I believe, um, arrested um, and investigating major drug traffickers within Australia. Do you expect more arrests? The investigations are ongoing. There's a lot of work to be done. Just in terms of some of the quantifiable amounts from this investigation, the uh, seizures that were undertaken in the last couple of days have resulted in over 2.5 tonnes of precursor chemical. Those chemicals also had the potential to manufacture up to 70 kilograms of methamphetamine and comparable amounts of uh, ecstasy. Uh, there's significant amounts of glassware that have been seized during the operation and also specifically fabricated uh, drug manufacturing equipment which is not openly available uh, on the commercial market. These uh, materials were specifically made purely for this uh, commercial enterprise that's been undertaken. In terms of the glassware that's been located at the premises, it's similar to what you would see at a pilot plant. This is industrial scale equipment, this is industrial scale material, and industrial levels of chemicals that are located at the premises. Some of the reaction vessels uh, were up to 20 litres in size. Some of the other reaction vessels that were located were in excess of 50 to 100 litres of material. This provides significant capability for the production of dangerous drugs. As I have said, we have made a major dent in the drug trafficking network within the Gold Coast and Australia in relation to this operation. Can I just ask quickly also, <coughs> a, um, a lab at Hillary's Vale, is that, is that linked to this? Uh, one of the premises we searched was a Hillary's And uh, what did you find there? Um, a, uh, a large amount of chemicals and other uh, clandestine laboratory equipment was located at an address at Helen's Vale. Uh, Mike, can I just ask, um, how important is, is this breakthrough? Uh, well, it's significant that uh, looking at the size of the, the syndicate had the capability of putting a lot of drugs on the street. And I think uh, any efforts uh, that uh, cause the results we've seen today will benefit the community. Any ideas where the chemicals were coming from? That, that is obviously part of our overall investigation. And we'll continue uh, to investigate uh, where the chemicals and other equipment were able to be obtained from. Uh, we were told that there's a chance we might get some footage. Um, can you shed some light on that? That is a possibility. We're examining that at the moment. If there is uh, the possibility, we'll certainly be releasing. Okay. Would that be of, of the laboratories themselves, or would that just be? Well, it's something you can ask through the media at the end. Oh, look after you after. Yeah. Okay. Yep. We'll assist where possible.
Okay, any other questions? Um, yeah, it, does that mean the operation wraps up or will you be continuing? Oh, definitely not, no. Uh, the initial phase of the operation has, uh, was executed on uh, on Monday. As Kerry said, we've got search warrants conducted, being conducted today with further equipment uh, being processed and identified. But by, by no means is this investigation over. We've got to put together all the evidence and uh, we will be conducting further investigations to identify all other people that may have been involved and has assisted in relation to this. And have those people been through court? Maybe? Four people have been charged and are currently before the courts. Did it involve cert going in first or was it a... As re in relation to the operational execution, I will not be making any further comment. But can you just say quickly, how many officers were involved in this whole process? And we're from, from across Australia or just Queensland? With respect to Queensland Police Service, uh, we had uh, in excess of 40 officers on Monday uh, to assist um, executing search warrants. Um, overall, we've had considerable amount of resources we have spent over the last as a nearly two years investigating these people. Um, and Kerry can comment on that in relation to the ACC. In terms of a national focus on the investigative capabilities, uh, an established task force was undertaken for over 18 months in relation to this uh, operation. That also involved the specialist resources of not only the Australian Crime Commission, but the Queensland Police Service. And a number of allocated resources resulted in this coming to a culmination on Monday night. Uh, those resources were definitely significant. There is no two uh, ways about that. And without that collaboration between the Queensland Police Service and the Australian Crime Commission, these sorts of investigations would not have been able to proceed to this level. Through identifying a large-scale clandestine laboratory, which could easily be referred to as a mega laboratory, uh, it simply needs these resources to be allocated from both agencies. That's how we make the difference. Can you confirm that someone was tasered during that major raid? In, in relation to the operational execution of the search warrant, I would be making that. Is this is a priority that you found it on the Gold Coast. The biggest one in Australia, I mean? We, we're not saying it's the biggest in Australia. We're saying one of the biggest. Um, and clandestine labor, labor, laboratories, uh, unfortunately, can be located anywhere due to their uh, the ability to uh, to move them in some instances. This one here, uh, obviously, was in place for quite some time, that we believe, so then we were investigating. The significance of this lab is that it had the capability to produce multiple types of drugs, methamphetamine and ecstasy. Those processes were well advanced. Those processes involved a number of similar yet parallel processes that gave that syndicate the opportunity to go either way. That's pretty significant in terms of the lab type and the lab construction in Australia. Is it the first time you've seen something of that nature? Yes. When you were saying um, in terms of making the chemicals, they couldn't source the products on the commercial market. Where were they sourcing them from? Was anything sourced overseas or where were they getting it? There's a number of investigations that still need to be undertaken in relation to that. But suffice to say, there's significant precursor and coercion controls that currently exist in the legislation, significant policy in, re in regards to end user declarations. Some of those procedures have been subverted, and that's resulted in them obtaining some of these uh, uh, some of these items that they've used for the straight laboratory. Any questions? Oh, good job. Just say your name, so we 